I did a video saying why the Pistons got it wrong with the Dwayne Casey hire. People read the title, then listened to the video, and that's one of the biggest things about this generation. People read the title, but they won't listen to the video. The title just engulfs them, and this makes them with a one-track mind. And that's very important why you should always read all the articles and watch all the videos. Just not pertaining to my content, pertaining to anything. We back. Motor City Sports Talk is your boy, CJ Goodfella. Now, if anybody actually listened to the video, it wasn't about Dwayne Casey not being a good coach for this team. It wasn't an indictment on Dwayne Casey's skills or or schematics for offense or his defensive ability or whatever it may be. It was never about Dwayne Casey. Well, people didn't listen. Listen. Listening. I don't know what's wrong with, with these people today. They, you, you guys, most of you guys don't listen. Exactly what I said, or right now I'm paraphrasing because I can't exactly tell you what I said. But what I said is I didn't like the situation for Dwayne Casey. I didn't like the fact that they hired a general manager before hiring a head coach. Now, most of you guys might not know how this works. The president of basketball operations or the general manager, he makes the day-to-day -day operations. Usually, he's the one that provides the players for the coach to coach. So, usually... Your general manager and your hires the head coach or is in on the hiring with the head coach in the selection process, and they are on the right page. So the players that he drafts and he provides fits what the head coach wants to do on the court. Because if they don't fit, then you have schism, you have you have arguments, you have issues that go between the GM and the head coach. And then the GM's number one excuse is Will Tom Gores. I didn't hire this guy. You gave me this guy as my head coach. He doesn't fit my philosophy. And that's the number one thing I believe I said in that video. That's the one thing. And tell me if I'm wrong right there. You can pause the video and comment and say that I'm wrong. The second thing that I brought up in the video as well too is this is my belief. I don't believe Dwayne Casey can win with this roster. No matter if he's Red Arbach reincarnated, Phil Jackson, Pat Riley with the permanent nice suits, and Chuck Daly with the best dress suits of all time. I don't see you winning with a core of Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond, and Reggie Jackson. And remember, they have no first-round draft pick. Okay? They have no cap space. And it's rumored that whoever becomes the general manager cannot trade and will not be able to trade Drummond or Blake Griffin. And we know you can't trade Reggie Jackson because with two years and a 30 some plus million on the, on the books, who will want Reggie Jackson? Nobody. His contract only becomes attractive when it's in the last year of his deal. And another thing I said, Dwayne Casey was able to make magic with Toronto because he had guards. His best player was, was were guards. And guards run the league. This the big man running the league is gone. It's a guards league. And Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan was fantastic in a regular season. It's easy when you got guard play in this league. You got two big men and no point guards. No point guards are efficient on this team. Ish Smith is a good point guard, but he can't shoot, he can't defend, he's too small. So everything that I mentioned is not me not believing in Dwayne Casey. It's me not believing in Tom Bores and how, how this went. And my whole premise, the reason why I chose M.A. Udoka over him as a coach is because I believe in a year or two, or maybe with Tom, with Tom Gores three or four years down the line, how idiotic he is when it comes to sports. And I don't want to bash anybody. But... It's not going to work. They're going to have to blow this up. And when you blow it up and you rebuild from the ground up, and this is my premise. This is my theory on it. I'm not saying it's going to be facts. But when they blow this up, and I know it will happen because it's not going to work. When they blow this up, okay, family, do you want a coach that's going to be almost 70 years old or closer to 70 or a coach that's going to be closer to 50? M.A. Udoka is 40. If you're going to eventually bring in a young GM or a young president of basketball operations, he should at least pick his own coach. And then that, and if that will be Tajon Langdon, he used to work for the Spurs. I'm pretty sure he's familiar with M.A. Udoka. 
because he's assistant coach for the Spurs. So that kind of works because they come from the same philosophy. But I'm still not on board how this played out. It was never about Dwayne Casey not being the right basketball mind or not being the right person. Now, I think he's wonderful. But I just think the, the general manager, the, the future general manager, should have been up, should have been hired, and he should have been in, in the pick. He should have picked this coach. So if he makes, uh, if it, it doesn't work out for him, he has escape. Escape. Oh, I didn't hire that guy. Same thing for Bob Quinn with Jim Caldwell. Why do you think you don't hire Jim Caldwell for one year? That's not Bob Quinn's guy. The Lions actually got it right. You get the general manager. You try to see if the coach can work with the general manager. Obviously, he didn't. Get him out of here. I want my own guy here. It was never about Dwayne Casey not being able to take this team to the promised land or, or to a playoff win or whatever. It, was, it wasn't about that. It was about the, the way the team is built is is stupid. Why you hire a coach, then a GM, and you tell them the GMs they can't trade certain players. You don't have cap space. You don't have a draft pick. So you can't sign no major free agents. You're not trading nobody. And the guys that's worth trading for, nobody wants. I mean, the guys that's worth trading for, you don't want to trade them. And the guy you want to trade to Ray Jackson is untradeable. It's the situation, fellas. Not Dwayne Casey. Marcy Sports Talk. We out.